starts on Christmas Eve. The North Pole! Are we nearly there yet? Yes, Nanny. We're almost at the North Pole. Will we meet Father Christmas? No, Holly. Remember, we never land at the North Pole. We drop the toys by parachute. Does Father Christmas catch them? No. The toys are collected by... Goblins. Not goblins. Arctic elves. Goblins, pixies, whatever. My brother is an Arctic elf. I didn't know you had a brother. Oh, yes. He's in charge of the Arctic elves. Calling Arctic Elves, this is Flight 1001. Receiving you loud and clear, Flight 1001. Please drop the toys. Righty o! Toys away! Now we can go home. It's a shame we never met Father Christmas or the Arctic Elves. The good thing is, we'll be back in time for the Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes, the Elf and Fairy Feast. At midnight. With dancing and lanterns. Oh, dear, the Elf plane sounds a bit odd. Is it broken? Of course not. This plane is built to last 1,000 flights. Oh, Ah, uh, this is flight 1001. Oh, look, lots of cops and things are falling out. Uh-oh. We're going down. <gasps> Phew, we landed safely. That was lucky. Lucky? We're stuck at the North Pole. But now we might meet Father Christmas. And the Arctic Elves. I suppose we might see some penguins. Oh, I like penguins. Penguins live at the South Pole. This is the North Pole. What's that waddling towards us then? Penguins! Not penguins. Arctic Elves. It's my twin brother. Hello, little brother. Hello. Are you really as old as each other? No, I'm older. But you're twins. I'm older and wiser by three minutes. Hardly older at all. I am the wiser, older elf. <laughs> when you little boys have stopped squabbling, maybe the wisest person here can work out how we get back home. Oh, uh... Maybe Father Christmas could help. Very clever. Follow me, everyone, to the house of Father Christmas. Father Christmas! Maybe if you're lucky, Nanny Plum, you'll see a penguin. <laughs> Violet, can I borrow your wand? OK. Look, wise old elf, a penguin at the North Pole. Oh, very clever, Nanny Plum. What? Ooh, Gaston stopped moving. Interesting. Gaston has frozen. Oh, no! We need to get the ladybird somewhere warm. Yes, insects don't like the winter. Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. <laughs> Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What?
At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me, but I am by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. <laughs> That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! Uh, we've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's okay. Arctic elves love wrapping presents. And we are... Oh, no! Arctic elves! <laughs> We've brought you toy robots, dolls, space rockets, and cars. Not bad. You've done a good job, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. When the presents are wrapped up, who delivers them? Ho, ho, ho! I deliver them, of course. Father Christmas! Call me Santa. I hear you're in a spot of bother. Yes! We need some help getting home. I've got some work to do tonight. I could drop you off on the way. Are you going our way? I'm going everywhere. Yay! <laughs> I say, that penguin's a long way from home. I'd better drop him off too. Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Have you got a present for our friend Lucy? Lucy? She's a little girl we know. Of course there's a present for her. Hmm, why do people always have such small chimneys? We could deliver the presents for you. All right. Put these presents in Lucy's Christmas stocking. Don't forget the tangerine. <gasps> Someone's coming! Keep still! Pretend to be a statue! That's odd. Some of the decorations have fallen off the tree. This little elf must go here. And this pretty fairy should be at the top of the tree. Phew! The hat was really close. Let's deliver Lucy's presents. Ben! Holly! Lucy! You're supposed to be asleep. I'm too excited about Christmas. What are you doing here? We're delivering your Christmas presents. Whoa! Do elves and fairies get presents as well? No, but tonight we have the elf and fairy feast. There's lovely music and lanterns in the trees. That sounds nice. It's beautiful. We'd better go. Santa's waiting on your roof. Santa? On my roof? Cool. Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas. Ah, there you are. Uh, there wasn't a little snack down there for old Santa, was there? Yes, a mint pie. Delicious. And this drink. Even better. <coughs> We can't start the Elf and Fairy Feast until the others are back. Well, where are they? Ho, ho, ho! Hello, everyone! We're back! Father Christmas gave us 